Hi, this is Dave Mosher, producer for a little Discovery Channel website called Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. And I'm bringing you guys the weekly wrap-up and preview for the site. I do this every week on Monday. And uh, before we get things started, though, I want to see if anyone can guess what this is. My little niche, three and a half, made this for me over the weekend, and I want to. I want you guys to guess what it is. If you can, uh, leave a comment at my blog, Space Disco, on this post, actually. If you're on the blog, there should be uh, a comment area down there. Uh, if you don't know how to get to the blog, look over there, more info. There's a link right to it. Anyway, tell me what that is, and I'll uh, send you something nice. I have no idea what it's going to be, uh, but we'll figure that out. That being said, let's get to the wrap-up. So last week I left you guys off with Space Shuttle Endeavour launching into outer space to service the International Space Station, do some home improvement, add a pee recycler thing, uh, which is kind of breaking. They're trying to fix it. Also, they went up to fix the solar array joint, and this thing just rotates uh, the big piece with the solar, solar panels on it, so it's always pointing towards the sun. So they went out to do this. Uh, one of the astronauts, though, lost her little tool bag. She had a backup, but it, the other one floated away in space and it's full of grease. And when I heard about that, I, I'm sure she felt like this. So a little Homer Simpson moment in space. Uh, next thing I want to tell you guys about that happened last week is this. This is a Canadian fireball that uh, exploded over, Cal uh, over Canada last week late last week, and blogger Alan Dyer, who's a pretty well-known amateur astronomer who blogs for Discovery Space, happened to answer about a million reporters' questions. So check out his blog, What's Up Astronomy. He's got a great post about his experience covering this thing. And finally, I want to tell you guys about this. This is a picture of Mars made by graphic artists with oceans. In fact, there's new evidence from uh, orbiters around the red planet to suggest that, with even more confidence, because they knew before, but... Uh, the Red Planet had oceans, so that's pretty cool. Now let's get to your weekly preview for the site. Today is Monday, November 24th, and I have a real special treat for you guys. The Discovery Channel is wrapping up its show, UFOs Over Earth, which is about investigators looking for signs, evidence, anything of these guys. So uh, you can check the site for a little mini destination I built for you. It's got tons of stuff about UFOs, aliens, conspiracy theories, things like that. Two cool things to check out are, uh, one, an I'm interview I did with one of the people appearing on the show, one of the UFO investigators. Another thing is an op-ed piece by Phil Plate, who is a big, bad uh, astronomy blogger, pun intended, and he's got a great little piece about astronomers and, and belief in uh, aliens, so check that out. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, November 25th, I've got a little my take from Peter Smith, who is the head honcho of the Phoenix team. Been trying to get that to you guys for weeks. They finally had some time to write something for me, so I'm going to throw that up tomorrow. On Wednesday, I've got a puzzle, Faces of Mars. Another thing for you to break apart and put back together again. Lots of fun. Uh, Thursday, Happy Turkey Day. I'm uh, going to try not to update the site and get a little break. And on Friday, I've got that elusive top 10 worst ways to die in space right after Turkey Day for you. So thanks for joining, and uh, have a great holiday.